In this video post, I want to talk about the OneNote app for the iPad. This is an app that I call the Game Changer because I do believe it has changed the game as far as the iPad goes in the classroom. And the use of this app with the Office 365 can take away some of the headache and overcome some of the problems that you might have found associated with the use of iPads in the classroom. So one of the major changes with this latest update has been the inclusion of the drawing set of tools. So this makes a big difference and means that the student can now write within this app. And I'll show you some examples of, of how this can be used, but it makes a huge difference. So just something on the importance of writing. Recent studies have found that there's a difference in the brain when you're writing the actual words with a pencil and paper as opposed to typing the words and the formation of, of the letters and the words are important part of the thinking process. So what this means is that the physical act of writing aids thinking and therefore annotation helps with thinking. So this is really important um, as far as this app is concerned because this app with the inclusion of the drawing tools can aid in this annotation process. So if we have a look at some examples. So here we have a piece of student writing where the student has chosen to write with pencil and paper rather than write on the iPad. Now you might well find that your students feel more comfortable writing with pencil and paper than they do on the iPad because even with a good stylus within this app it's still quite cumbersome to write and typing also is quite cumbersome so in this case the student has written on paper and then photograph uh, their work so that the work can be submitted to the teacher and or annotated upon um, in this case because I'm using the uh, OneNote app on the iPad that is connected to the Office 365, it means that for this particular student, the work is submitted to the teacher as soon as it's photographed because both the teacher and student are connected. So that means no more handing in of work. It is instantly there as soon as it, it is uploaded. So let's have a look at some other learning areas. So here we have a, an example of a science prac. So students uploading photographs. So photographs taken with the iPad um, can be easily in, inserted using this app. And we have the, um, the notes written on the side. So teacher can, can upload um, the worksheets, etc. And then the student can write their notes along the side. And inclusion of the um, uh, Excel charts and Excel uh, worksheets can be easily copy and pasted across. In the math classroom, so often um, students are given worksheets to work on. So the teacher can either upload these to the OneNote notebooks for the students to work on, or the student can photograph um, the worksheets and then work upon them and then for the teacher to um, then correct the work it is quite easy so using the, um, the the drawing set of tools so quite an easy process and once the teacher then corrects that piece of work uh, the student then has that instantly uh, looking at an art sample here so in the art uh, classroom, um, students are often required to annotate their work and annotate their ideas. So photographing of the, the artwork and then writing annotations on the side are both quite, quite easy to do within this app. In the technology classroom, uh, use of proformers that the student can work in. So here we have an evaluation and process proforma and we have the recipe uh, on the side. Uh, once the student has um, 
completed the um the cooking task they they can take their photographs of it etc and all of that work is then on on the one page um, from there they can choose to then take all of that information and put it into a more polished document maybe using uh, Microsoft Word or, or a, a, a PowerPoint presentation etc in the language classroom so once again a handout here uh, and the great thing about this app is that uh, photographs or um, text, etc., can also be written over using um, the drawing tools. So I'm using a, a Jot Mini Stylus for this writing. Um, the the new styluses that are on the market are a little bit more advanced than the old um, quite cumbersome styluses of the past uh, so this one I found to be quite quite good um, quite easy to use and the writing is is quite fluid so yeah big difference from the the cumbersome writing styluses of the past those big chunky ones so a couple of other nice things with this app we have um, the palm rejection so that you can um, s adjust this app to suit your own personal writing style and let's have a look at now at uh, how how we can get information into this app so let's just make a new page here um, say I wanted to put a, a worksheet into uh, this page here so I've got a couple of options up the top here so I could um, insert pictures and tables and um, and things like that like on um, you know any other uh, application works the same way uh, but if I use the, the camera here um, what this app does is use uh, smart scan technology the um, the Microsoft lens so if I take a picture so I've just taken a picture of that document there and we have the um, the choice of converting that to document or a whiteboard not much difference there because I'm in light, low light at the moment um, but uh, if a student wanted to take photographs of the whiteboard it actually clears up that um, that image a little bit so we'll bring that one in so here, here we have that document on that page and then um, ready it's ready for writing over So there's a, um, a range of different drawing tools and colors and thicknesses of line. So one other handy thing about this app, if you're using the latest version of the iOS, that's 8.2, uh, within Safari, uh, if say if a student is uh, browsing the internet um, doing some research for a uh, an assignment um, so the, in this case we're looking at the French Re Revolution and they see something that they want to save to their their notebook and uh, they can just hit the, the the share icon up the top here and you can now include OneNote as part of those sharing set of tools there so we hit the OneNote icon and then we can choose where to send that um, that note so send that there and then if we go back to the OneNote app there okay and we can see down the bottom there it's put that And there we are. Now one one annoying thing that it does is 
bring that picture in um, at a about a 35% of the original and on the app itself it doesn't let you change the size so that's one annoying thing about this app that hopefully they will change soon um, so if you want to uh, change the size you uh, have to do it on the de desktop version which is a bit annoying um, so if I go to the desktop version now and I'll just synchronize that oh, here we go okay so that was the um, the little web snippet that we brought in um, so we can change it on here just by dragging that across so unfortunately when you've got your um, clippings from the um, the web on the iPad you can't change the size of those um, those web clippings so one drawback so just to finish off uh, just to, sh to show you that all of these um, OneNote notebooks are in sync with each other in real time um, so this one here is I'm logged in as the teacher and you can see that um, that document that we scanned before or photographed before as the student ha has popped up here and if I go across to the the web version here so once again I'm logged in as the teacher on the web version here and we've got those two pages that we just popped in so that was the one from the web clipping and the one from the student um, photograph as well so all happening in real time so once again once the student um, uploads the, the uh, piece of work to their OneNote notebook the teacher instantly has it once the teacher then corrects that piece of work the student instantly has that so all happening in real time so hopefully that uh, has helped you out um, hope to see uh, some of you using this uh, app because I really do think it's going to um, be a, a, a big thing for education and I know that uh, it's al already taken off like wildfire in the USA so uh, thank you for listening and uh, be sure to check back for other videos thank you